AI, also known as artificial intelligence, is a kind of technology that's used everywhere by practically everyone, from your phone to your laptop to even your car. AI is everywhere. Sometimes I wonder if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Have you ever heard of Loeb? Well, sometimes monsters aren't born, they are made. Imagine yourself sitting by a computer, fiddling around with AI picture generation software like Dolly or Midjourney, and you input a text prompt to create something cool or interesting. Fascinating, right? Creating a whole new world, a new point of view, by simply using words. In April 2022, a Swedish-based artist by the name of Steph Swanson, or if you go by their social media handle, Super Composite, discovered something disturbing. A whole new world of sorts by using an AI picture generation tool, which is still unknown to us to this day. It all started when she input Brando with a negative prompt wait as a text prompt into the AI software. And if you don't know what a negative prompt wait is, it is basically used to tell the AI software that you want your resulting image to be as far away or different from what you asked for as possible. The results were this. A logo of some kind, which resembles the word digital and antics. On a castle background and a tower of some kind to the right. What a strange result. Not satisfied with the result, Steph types in the words from this logo image. Digital P-N-T-I-C-S Along with Skyline logo and another negative prompt wait. Hoping that this will net her the opposite of the logo. Perhaps Marlon Brando? It's worth the shot. The results were not what you would expect, or what she expected for that matter. Four images were given of a Caucasian older lady with brunette colored hair and some sort of red marks or spots on her face resembling that of rosacea. Rosacea is an inflammatory skin condition in which the face cheeks have red spots on them in the form of a rash and is typically found on the face cheeks and nose. In the top left corner of one of the images, we see this. Lobe. What on earth? That's so freaky. It literally looks like a name or something. Following these creepy images, a friend of Steph did some AI image generation on their side and generated an image of a hyper-compressed glass tunnel surrounded by angels in the style of Wes Anderson. This was the resulting image. And as you can see, nothing off-putting, right? Looks fairly innocent. Steph took this image and combined it with one of the lobe ones she had by using the images as a prompt instead of words and got this. The mixing of images to create new fresh images like this is done through a process called crossbreeding and all you do is take two images, merge them and it gives a mixed version of the two images. Sometimes words can be used in tandem with the images provided but it's not needed. Now, for some odd reason, mixing lobe with other images results in images full of gore, blood, snuff and dismembered children. It's all so bizarre. Steph would end up going down a rabbit hole, 
crossbreeding images together with words to create more strange and disturbing imagery, all of Loeb being in different scenarios and scenes. Sometimes she wouldn't be in the images, but there would be gore and blood, and other times she would be in them, even if it was just hints of her in them. This is all extremely creepy and disturbing, all created by AI. Here, Loeb represents a mother, looming over her children and watching them. Here, she takes a family photo with her children. Her having a chat with perhaps a sister or friend who came over for a visit. Her standing with her children in a building overgrown by some sort of white plant or material. Her as a queen of bees. Celebrating Pride Month. Trapped in time and space as a sculpture for all to see. An avatar from the world of Pandora. Staring into the camera with her alien eyes. At this point, Steph started mixing images of Loeb with three or four other images at a time. And these are the images as a result. Loeb as a camera head. Watching your every move, hearing your every word. Watching you through a keyhole. Loeb taking in the form of others and absorbing them, becoming them in a sense. Stuck in the future, observing the world through a glass tank. A selfie taken with one of her children. Loeb as an ancient being. One of her children is born. Watching over her children like a vigilant mother should. Loeb as the next Joker. These are just a handful of images I am allowed to show as the others contain gore and dismembered children. All of these images are incredibly off-putting and disturbing, and I bet there are hundreds of other possible scenarios Loeb could be found in, and if I'm being frank, it's a good thing we haven't seen it. Why was a logo generated by asking for Brando though? Well, perhaps the AI interpreted that input as Steph asking for something that's a brand plus a logo? Think about it. Brando could be a combination of the words brand and logo. But then why when she asked for the opposite of that, she got Loeb? Nothing from the words Digita, P-N-T-I-C-S strikes me as something that would result in images of a person. But perhaps the AI saw that prompt and thought of a digital painting? That would make sense, as paintings can sometimes be of people depicting them, and since Steph asked for the opposite of a logo or a landscape, she would get an image of a person, as a logo or a landscape doesn't contain life, but a person does. I mean, that is, after all, the whole idea of a negative weight prompt. It's to give you a result the furthest away from what you asked for. I went on a midi rabbit hole of this whole thing myself, searching on Google for more info, perhaps stuff I might have missed, and I stumbled onto a subreddit dedicated to Loeb. Now the subreddit doesn't have a lot of people on it, and there hasn't been new posts in a bit, but one post struck me as interesting. You know, we partnered with Google, for example, if you Google climate change, you will, at the top of your search, you will get all kinds of UN resources. We started this partnership when we were shocked to see that when we Googled climate change, we were getting incredibly distorted uh, information right at the top. Well, 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 that's very interesting. Now, I do agree with OP. This lady does resemble Loeb a bit. Another post I saw said this. If I'm being completely honest, this is the first thing I thought of when I first saw Loeb as well. She really does resemble Caitlyn Jenner. Perhaps the AI took inspiration from either of these two people or both? I mean, the UN does have a logo and such, and the very first thing generated was a logo, which yielded Loeb. Do I think one of these people are Loeb? No, of course not. But I can see the resemblance. 
that perhaps the face shape and parts of their faces were used to generate Loeb. What if, perhaps, the reason why Loeb was created and depicted in disturbing and unsavory situations is because her characteristics are so easy to be created by the AI? Maybe this specific AI program that was used was wired and created to latch onto physical human traits and this made it easy for the AI to do its AI thing but still retain that human element to every picture even if it was grotesque and uncanny. To me, that's what makes AI generated images so unsettling. The fact that they don't know what life is unless we program the ideas and thoughts of it into the system Yet it still will never know what life truly is at the end of the day since they aren't alive and they aren't sentient and conscious. AI creates these disturbing images of people and places due to it being a program, not having the understanding and point of view that we as humans do. AI is just a bunch of codes mashed together to solve complex problems or feed off of info we give it. And that's what makes it so scary as well. The fact that it can just do what it wants, generate what it wants, not knowing what's disturbing or unsettling and what is considered not acceptable. Now, Loeb isn't the only cryptid that's been found lurking in the AI world. There's this as well. Krungus was created, or should I say, discovered by a Twitch streamer who goes by the name Guy Kelly. He typed in the word Krungus into an AI software called Crayon. The images that resulted from putting the word in as a prompt brought forth images of a monstrous looking hairy humanoid. Much like Loeb, it's like a cryptid was found hiding right under our noses in a maze called AI, and all we had to do was lure out the proverbial mouse with cheese. What could this Krungus be? Well, the word resembles that of something we already know of, which is actually not from AI, but from the world of myths and legends. The Krampus. For those who might not know what Krampus is, it's a horned demonic figure who in Central and Eastern Alpine folklore tradition accompanies another well-known figure going by the name Saint Nicholas, a figure from European folklore who is based on the Greek early Christian bishop Nicholas of Myra. This Saint Nicholas is seen as some type of Santa who gives well-behaved children small gifts while Krampus is the demon that follows him where he goes to punish misbehaved children with a birch rod. Basically, Krampus is the evil version of Saint Nicholas, aka Saint. To me, this Krampus figure holds a stark resemblance to that of this Grungus one, both even ending in us. Still, this does not take away the creepiness of this Grungus figure and it's all very creepy and disturbing to me. At the end of the day, whether Loeb was never real and she ended up being created by accident or she's been real this whole time and we just had to combine specific words to find her, this was still very creepy and unsettling. I hope we get to see more of Loeb in the future and we will find out what she represents but until then we have to wait and see. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. Don't forget to tap the like button if you liked the video, share with others you think might be interested as well, and subscribe to soothe that fascination.